I was just reflecting that really at the core of this uh, balanced view training is that you are pointed to your perfection in so many ways. Like all that's going on here is just to show that you know exactly who you are is so perfect and to try to move away from that you are actually perfect if you hate yourself right now, if you feel very uncomfortable physically, mentally, emotionally, you're still totally perfect. So your perfection is just there with everything. <laughs> and to try to move away from it is very exhausting and, and, and really uncomfortable. So it's uh, quite a shift to meet a training that no matter how you are asking your questions or how, how, you know, whatever label you put on yourself right now that wants, you know, to define you as being wrong or something is wrong or it's a problem or, you know, but all that we support you to see is that your power, your opportunity for empowerment is in that exact thought, in that exact emotion, in that memory, in that idea in that body sensation. So all this, we call it data, data streams in this teaching. So <laughs> the data are the tools. Without data, how could we ever recognize ourselves as open intelligence? I remember before I met this training, I, I trained myself to long for non-conceptual states states of being where I, I shouldn't feel anything or have any thoughts at all. That would be a nightmare now. <laughs> I wouldn't even want to live a life with no thoughts. No, no thoughts. <laughs> How could I know myself? And so first of all, I get to know myself through my data. But inseparable from that, I get to now know all of you because you are also thinking and feeling and sensing. And that's unity. <laughs> so the unity and the intimacy with everyone is because we're human beings that are feeling and sensing and sometimes we are worrying and sometimes we are just uh, having a joyous time and sometimes we love, sometimes we hate, sometimes we get angry, sometimes we get bored, sometimes, you know, like we're very sweet. We have all these experiences, <laughs> so what's the problem? <laughs> That I have, you know, before it was a problem. Certain sets of data streams were a problem. Because I didn't have a guide, I didn't have a teacher, I didn't have role models in my life that showed me that it was safe to wake up a day, a morning, feeling so anxious, so scared maybe, so hating at myself, everyone. Life is meaningless, I want to die. It's very scary if you don't know what to do with it. Believe me, I know how scary that is. It's really scary not to know what to do with, with afflictions. That's why we often talk about afflictions in this training, because if you don't know what to do with it, it can totally overwhelm you and you can harm yourself and others. So I love to speak about afflictions and it's great to get, get these questions about it also. So before this training, before I knew what to do with it, because that's what we will introduce here, what you can do with it, <laughs> with all these data streams. You know, I used to be completely drama queen. Like I, if something, let's say waking up in the morning feeling completely anxious, completely depressed, there was just no meaning in life whatsoever. So my first thing was then to describe this even more. And do you think that really helped me? Like, was that a good solution? <laughs> Lying still in the bed and then, oh, I remember, oh, this is similar to waking up last week or 10 years. Oh, it's still there. And, oh, it must be the child who, I mean, just like, it's not the best we can do to ourselves, honestly. So with this teaching, I was just waking up to see, wow, I have a decision. I have a choice. I never knew I had the choice. I thought I only had to do this. No, 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 oh, describing and analyzing and, oh, I need to understand. Why am I so afflicted? 
Why do I have these thoughts and emotions? I need to understand. Only if I understand and I can find that cause, that mother cause of all this pain, and I can just... <laughs> <laughs> and I did, you know, many times I found that cause. But what happened? So sad. A new cause came. The new cause to that same affliction. How come? So with this training now I know. You know, I know how come, because there is something about us humans that don't mind waking up completely afflicted. There's something about us that don't care, that are always peaceful, no matter what we name ourselves. So, so it's so important to train ourselves to rely on that. In this training we call, you can call it a basic state, it's, it's wordless, you know, it's who you are, it saturates every thought, it saturates every emotion, it saturates every physical pain, everywhere. It's like complete saturation. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but it's just there, woven into us. We call it open intelligence. It's nice, it's open. It's not only you in your body and your mind, you know, it's an open intelligence we share. This intelligence that only knows benefit, only knows benefit, benefit in pain, <laughs> benefit in worry, benefit in, uh, in sadness, benefit everywhere. It just knows that. No matter how hard you try to, no, no, this is a problem. <laughs> this is a problem. But it, open intelligence doesn't care. And it's so beautiful with, with the, the space metaphor because, you know, your mind is space. It's the, it's the same. So if I write like, I am so depressed here now. I'm not sure if I did that. <laughs> or like, I am so happy. Space unaffected. So powerful. You can even do it sometimes just to remind yourself that Space doesn't care if I write horrible things or beautiful things. Now, your mind is the same. But you don't believe that because we haven't been trained in that way. But many of you have been here for many years, so you know. But it's true. Your mind, if it's like a, a very painful thought, emotion, streaming through your mind right now, maybe it is. I think, let's think about something terrible. Feel something terrible right now, like, then you relax at the same time as this is streaming through. Or you think about something beautiful, nice, comfortable, and you just relax, you don't describe this, you just let it flow on by. Your mind is unaffected, just as the space is unaffected on what you write in it. This is who you are. This is beyond all ideas you learned about yourself, about being human being, all philosophies, religions, whatever. It's only experience left. So we don't ask you to believe in anything we say, just experience who you are right now with all these thoughts and emotions like you did right now. So the data are the tools to recognize open intelligence. And uh, we give you only one instruction to access yourself as open intelligence as in of as and through all your data. So just one single instruction that's uh, you know, it's fine if you forget, you forget everything here today, but you can pay attention now. <laughs> because this instruction is, uh, is the goal. This is where you train your mind. So it's like a, an instruction to train your mind, to train your intelligence, to be that space that's unaffected of, you know, what you're thinking and feeling and sensing. So it's short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes obvious. until the recognition becomes obvious. Open intelligence is there whether you see it or not, whether you tap into it or not. But the recognition of, of you as a peaceful, stable, clear space, inseparable from what you're thinking and feeling, that recognition will be obvious for you more and more and more like this beautiful never-ending journey. There's no destination because life goes on. New opportunity, new opportunity in every short moment to take short moments 
you relax body and mind, you let the thoughts stream, you let the feelings stream, you, you just let yourself be as you are, hang out as you are and see what happens. This is what we ask you to test again and again and again. Not only for one day or one year, but it's like a life is a testing ground. It's like a play. <laughs> you see each time that you are so powerful. You don't lose any of your power, your talents, your creativity into describing and analyzing yourself. It's not needed. I haven't found any teaching, any education. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. This I, I wouldn't know, but I have never found any education that have told me, stop analyze yourself. Stop look at your thoughts and emotion. Stop trying to understand why you're thinking and feeling like you do. It's a revolution to hear it today and share it with everyone because the suffering lies in the analyzing of yourself. Why I am so like clear in that is just because <laughs> Just the memory of doing that to myself brings tears. Great suffering in just the memory of how I used to analyze myself. And so often it was always in, in very negative direction. So sad, why? So I know, you know, the power of, of just really use the short moments to see the inseparability of yourself with whatever you are thinking feeling, sensing, all the data and open intelligence. You see it's inseparable like the color blue and the sky. <laughs> you can't separate it. So we can just relax with who we are. It takes care of itself, all these thoughts and emotions and all of it. It takes care of itself. You can trust it. It comes and goes, leaving no trace. You know, like mist evaporating in air, like the mist of data. <laughs> You can see the, the, the data and mist as the same. And as you know, the mist just evaporates in the air. There's no effort. It just happens. It's the same with your thoughts and emotions. It's just the same with, with every, everything. It has that same natural rhythm. So it's when we learn to trust this that we can see the freedom of mind. We can live the freedom of mind. The freedom of being, free to be, free to be who you are. You don't need to worry anymore. Even while worrying, you relax. So, so that's really, you know, what we provide here. We provide an education that supports you to more and more and more rely on open intelligence as a guide for your life. So the support system is gold, really. We call it the four mainstays because it's, it is an algorithm, if you like, or a combination of four legs of a chair. You sit comfortable. It's easier for you to train up your mind if you use a combination of these three, four, <laughs> three legs, four. <laughs> now you remember it's four. So uh, one is the instruction. So that's the only thing you need to remember, short moments, you remember. <laughs> And to come again, because they will come, if you're new, there will come questions around trying to use short moments, you know, as whatever you're thinking and feeling and trying the instruction of short moments. Very often there comes questions. So it's great to come again and ask questions. Then we have, uh, you know, the training. It's, uh, we have, a, is it Thursday today? So we have a one day training today. So it's possible to to join a one day training. So we have, we have teachings and texts that only elicit this instinctive recognition of yourself as open intelligence. It's amazing. We, we don't know how it works, but it works as results. It doesn't matter if you understand or not, but it works as, as a result. Then everyone in, in Balanced View has their own trainer. So you get customized support as well, which is important. You're so lucky. I wish for every human being to be supported by another human being. If the whole world was working like that right now, that we were open and humble enough to be supported by an, at least one other person, so important. Role models, as I said in the beginning, I didn't have role models that said it was safe to feel afflictions, think afflictions, so important. 
And then the fourth is the community. Again, role models, so important. Together we learn from each other. I'm so happy I'm out of this uh, independent woman from Norway that needed to do everything herself and prove her worth in the world by being so powerful and independent. It's like just the independent thing is a complete misunderstanding. So that's definitely how we step up to solve the problems in the world. Support each other. It's only by letting yourself be supported you know actually how to support others. So it's very difficult to support others if you are not supported yourself. So that's where, where it all starts. <laughs>